Rockheads. So as many of you guys know, I have had problems with the microphone on the Hero 5 Black previously, and I made a couple of videos trying to solve the issue and unfortunately could not get to the bottom of it. Another moto vlogger out there ended up coming across a mic by a company called Giant Squid. It's an omnidirectional microphone. The Sony ECM-CS3 stereo mic worked great on the Hero 4 Silver. However, it does not work great on the Hero 5 Black. And the Hero 5 Black is awesome because it has video stabilization, right? As well as a much better battery life. So, the popping and the clicking from using the Sony ECM CS3 on the Hero 5 Black basically made me revert back to using the Hero 4 Silver. So, with this fix, I've been using this mic for a little bit and it has performed awesome. No popping, no clipping, no dropouts in sound, and it deals with very loud sound really well. There is no over compression or anything like that. Everything is very clear. You just have to find a way to isolate it from the wind. Obviously being for moto vlogging, you're going to have wind because you're, you know, on a motorcycle and you're going through the wind at hell upwards of 70 miles an hour sometimes. So yeah, the microphone performs very very well as you guys will see in this video here i did end up recording a quick thing whenever i purchased this microphone the packaging is pretty subpar it doesn't come in like a fancy box or anything but honestly i don't really care about that stuff so long as the product is quality and which the product is very quality in this i didn't use the windscreen that came with it i did end up having some extra windscreens previously which end up working much better than the one that came with it. All right, let's get to the test ride so you guys can hear it for yourself. 12 seconds later. So for the mic video, this is where I have my mic placement. Uh, I do have a modular helmet, so it goes down like that. You guys see it like right there? Kind of against like above the chin curtain here, but by the cheek pad as well. And then I have a, like one of those foam pieces over it also. So I do think I need to probably cover it up a little more, get like a piece that goes like here and over like that, just so there's less wind noise because whenever this is closed, there is a little wind noise because like wind hitting right there. But uh, so far so good. Yeah, I've got the cord wrapped around the chin curtain and then coming out right here. And this is my crazy job to basically get this damn adapter to stick because it doesn't stick because of the material. So I've got like, Gorilla tape on that thing as well as like zip ties holding the velcro and tape on there and then the GoPro adapter Goes right into the side of the housing here. So right there That's it. It works awesome links to everything in the description below if you guys have any questions on anything Let me know All right, so this new microphone guys doing a review on it. It has been awesome thus far um in the previous videos like i've been testing it in different like wind conditions and whatnot and uh yeah there is some a little bit of wind in the helmet uh but that's kind of to be expected however what we were trying to fix with this microphone was the popping and clipping issue that was happening between the sony ecm cs3 microphone which was in stereo and the gopro hero 5 black uh i made a ton of videos basically talking about the quality and trying to figure out why the uh, audio issues were happening and it got so bad to the point where uh, it's a bumpy road uh, fuck. it got so bad to the point where like I was actually I actually reverted oh, I almost took the wrong middle turn there <laughs> yeah it got so bad to the point that I actually reverted back to the uh, Hero 4 Silver because of the mic quality and uh, this new microphone has been performing very, very well. Miracle Horse. Oh, smooth road again, thank God. Via testing it on the highway and just, you know, around town and such, I've gotten pretty loud on it, like yelling, like, you know. I don't know, say if I, somebody I can yell at as it go by. I'll yell at this Toyota dude. Slaughter! <laughs> Uh, who was that? I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, that was pretty loud, right? Pretty loud, so dude. And I can guarantee you it didn't, uh, it didn't clip. Like the last one would. It would, like, basically spike and have that really loud pop sound. So, this is basically a mono mic. It is not a stereo like the last one. But it does record in stereo. So, it's a mono signal, but it records it in stereo on the GoPro. So when you look at the waveforms, it's not just like one single waveform, it's two waveforms, but they're the exact same. 
because in the GoPro I have the recording settings set to stereo. Now they do have an auto feature where you can basically uh, set it between like wind and stereo. I did disable that and I put it to stereo only and it has been doing great. Now I thought those settings were for were for like the onboard mics but just in case you know changed it with this microphone as well so it does seem to be working out very well thus far I've had nothing but good results with it and the awesome thing about that is that I can now use the Hero 5 Black recording in the same quality as I was with the Hero 4 Silver which is you know 1920 by 1080p at 60 frames per second just because it's a really good quality and it looks like nice and smooth the cool perk about this though is that I now have image stabilization with the Hero 5 Black, which is pretty much what I was after whenever I, whenever I purchased it. Oh, hopefully we don't get pulled over this time. I guess I didn't really get pulled over, per se, because I was already, like, pulled over. I was parked, like, whenever I got pulled over. But, you know, I got in trouble that last time. I was my mess up. All right. Oh. Man, let's run in here real quick and check some mail. A few inches later. It was all spam. This bike's getting hot. Whatever this takes me. It takes me over a speed bump. Yay! Ugh, that sucks. Oh man, it's like they knew people would want to come back on this road and just tear shit up. <laughs> Dude, summer's gonna suck. It's not even freaking summer yet. It's like spring right now and it's hot as f***. We sweating bullets in summer. <laughs> There's definitely gonna be no like riding anywhere over lunch during summertime because freaking come back dripping come back and just be a puddle so I'll leave the visor open actually just to kind of give you guys uh, I don't know just so y'all can see how the microphone records with like wind noise you know the voice with wind noise as well I tried it previously and uh, it was doing all right it was doing good So like probably hear the sound of the bike a little more as well. Shout out to all my subscribers at Chain of Lakes Middle School. <laughs> I think somebody actually replied or commented that they were uh, they were like, oh, you just passed my school. And they went here, so shout out, brah shouted you out it so yeah I actually do have a uh, a little mic like filter you know those little pieces of foam that go over the microphones over this one uh, which I will show you guys a picture of right here that's pretty much how I have mine set up Totally different beast once you get it over like 6,000, man. It's crazy. Gotta realize I'm still getting used to this thing. I'd say my shifts have definitely improved though. But, uh, yeah. It's doing me well thus far. Getting a little better at that rev matching too, yo. Ah, can't wait to be home inside. What does your license plate say? Bukeis? Buckeis? What does that mean? We should be allowed to lane split, lane spilter. I mean, seriously though, look, I could jump to the front of that fucking line. No problemo. So anyways, yeah, the uh, overall quality of the mic, very, very good. Uh, I think the, the previous mic that I was using in the Hero 4 Silver, I want to say was like right around like 20 bucks. Now this one is a little bit more expensive at like right around $40, I think. 
like between like 35 and 40 I think I've seen it up for but it's uh, definitely worth it to avoid the frustration of the dam popping and clicking you know all right I can't ride this damn bike again without lubing the chain got to get that maintenance done just so I have the comfort of knowing that it's actually done you know and that is a mossy lake a lot of grime uh, do we go straight? Do we go right? Do we go right? So, uh, doesn't really pertain to the microphone, but uh, I ordered some parts and stuff off of Amazon, and they got stolen. And I'm pretty sure the shipping company that they use is the reason why they got stolen. And it's multiple people in my area that have had orders from Amazon get stolen. So, but it sucked, man. I ordered like some, I ordered a tire pressure gauge, you know, that I mean, I obviously need to check my tire pressure. Uh, I ordered some new levers. I ordered, oh, fuck, blinker. Uh, I ordered some little card holders so that, you know, I can carry, carry some spam cards, you know? And I also ordered a fender, like the rear fender, what do they call it, delete? No, it's, ah, I forget what the hell they call it, I always get it wrong. Like the thing that basically removes that little rear fender piece and replaces, like tucks the license plate. I always forget what the hell it's called. I always want to say rear fender removal, but that's what you do with a Harley. Anyways, so yeah, this microphone definitely gets my stamp of approval. It has been doing really well thus far. Like I said, took it on the highway, and taking it around town. I've yelled into it. I gave you guys the settings that I'm running it with. Like I said, stereo, don't let the GoPro decide like how to record. And, uh, and I'm also... Also running it with, um, you know, just in the, in the chin area, the chin curtain, and uh, with the Hero 5 microphone adapter, the big brick that goes on the side of the helmet. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Links to everything, microphone, microphone adapter, all that good stuff. The little covers for the, uh, for the microphone as well will be down in the description below. If you guys want to grab up any of that, it is finally a solution for the Hero 5 microphone issue. Freaking amazing. I need to find me a link for a freaking cheeseburger. I'm hungry. Yeah, if you guys have any questions on it, you know, post them up in the uh, comments below. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, you guys ride safe. Stay vigilant, and I will catch y'all later. Just slow it down a little bit, and...